Yama, I'm Jack, and this is Newsbreak. Remember when former US President Donald Trump was indicted and then indicted again? Well, now he's been indicted again. Again. Uh, here's Josh. It happened in March, it happened in June, and now it's happened again. Former US President Donald Trump has been indicted for the third time in just four months. That basically means he's been accused of committing a crime. And this time, there are four charges. They're all to do with alleged attempts to overturn the result of the 2020 US election, which led to a deadly attack on the US Capitol building. The attack on our nation's capital on January 6th, 2021, was an unprecedented assault on the seat of American democracy. Among other things, he's been accused of preventing voters of their right to a fair election by lying about rigged votes, and trying to stop Congress from confirming Joe Biden's victory by encouraging his supporters to riot. It was fueled by lies. Lies by the defendant targeted at obstructing a bedrock function of the US government, the nation's process of collecting, counting, and certifying the results of the presidential election. But Donald Trump says he's done nothing wrong and has described the charges as an un-American witch hunt. He'll head to court in a couple days' time to plead guilty or not guilty. But either way, it won't stop him from still running for president next year. After days of silence, NASA says it's heard from missing spacecraft Voyager 2. Flight controllers accidentally sent a wrong command nearly two weeks ago that tilted the unmanned spacecraft's antenna away from Earth, and they lost all contact with it. They've been trying to track it down ever since, but considering it's almost 20 billion Ks away from Earth, that's not an easy task. Now they say they've picked up on a heartbeat signal, and our very own Big Dish in Canberra will try to make contact this week to turn the antenna back toward Earth. Otherwise, we'll have to wait until October for an automatic spacecraft reset. Next up, we meet 13-year-old Angel, who will be travelling all along the east coast of Australia on horseback. Here's Justina. This is Angel, and this is his horse, Pippin. Hello, Pippin. Angel has cerebral palsy, which is a disorder that affects a person's ability to move and stay balanced. So learning to ride a horse for the first time didn't come easy. I remember when I began riding, I was screaming like I was horrified. But I think that's all changed. You look soft and doby. He's become far more independent on the horse to the point that he can actually ride by himself now. And it seems like they're pretty good friends. Sometimes if we haven't walked him for a while, he'd kick the gate. Oh. Like, let's go! And now this dynamic duo and Angel's family are preparing for the journey of a lifetime. A 5,000 kilometre journey, in fact, across the Great National Trail from Cooktown to Healesville. Pippin just carries Angel and gear and allows us all the freedom to go and explore Australia. The trek will take about a year and they're aiming to raise $500,000 for the Riding for the Disabled Association along the way. Uh, skip the poo. Sometimes things go a things go a little bit pear shaped, but uh, nevertheless, the show must go on. Stop moving. Now I've heard of a drinks break in cricket, but I've never heard of a snake break. Oh gosh, look at that! This slithering sightseer interrupted a cricket game in the Lanka Premier League in Sri Lanka. Eventually, security guards were able to usher the snake off the field, and the show could go on. <laughs> Now, even if you live in the far north Scottish Orkney Islands, the show must go on. Or at least, you must get your mail. Royal Mail, a British postal service, has been trialling the use of drones to deliver mail to the far-off islands. I've worked for Royal Mail for 20 years and I have to say this is the most exciting um, thing I've ever been involved in. If all goes well, the drones could replace traditional methods of mail delivery on the islands. Finally, when it's your wedding day, the show must go on. Rain, hail or typhoon. Typhoon Doxuri swept through the Philippines last week and some places got a little bit flooded. But this couple weren't going to let a little bit of water get in the way of their special day. Uh, well, we'll be back tomorrow with more and uh, we'll see you then, okay? Bye.